according to the extraterrestrials. Chapter 1. Overpopulation Let us imagine we have set out to have a party. After some thought, you send out 10 invitations to some friends and make preparations for a good time. The day of the party is here and you quickly notice that your friends brought in more friends. And now you have three times as many guests. Apparently your invitation went viral and guests keep coming into the tune of 5 7 14 times the number of guests. By midnight you have 180 guests. Surely, things are now out of your control. There won't be enough space to hold so many people safely in your home. All the food and drinks ran out, much of it is also on the floor, everywhere. You discover both bathroom toilets are clogged. Property damage begins to escalate and soon you would have total chaos. People have become upset and violent, and many wish to leave. But their cars are trapped behind all the parked cars that are also blocking the road. This is an allegorical example of what is happening on our planet. Listening and evaluating what the play are and extraterrestrials tell us. We human beings of Earth have exceeded the planet's optimal population capacity. The play are and are a group of people from an extraterrestrial civilization who have been communicating with Billy Meyer for over 75 years. They have now warned for several decades that overpopulation is mankind's most dangerous problem. They have explained that each planet has an ideal capacity to support human life. Earth's ideal capacity was calculated to be 529 million. They conclude that the Earth with such an ideal population size would become a paradise again. We would be able to consume massively less fossil fuels with little damaging environmental effects as our planet's natural systems could maintain a self-healing balance. According to the play are in extraterrestrials, the Earth currently on 2023 has exceeded 9.35 billion human beings, about 18 times our planet's optimal capacity. In short, the party is no longer a party, it's become a brawl. How do the play yarn know this? They have been following the progress of other planets with similar problems. One example is planet Ackert, located in a parallel space-time dimension in the Proxima Centauri star system, which until recently reached a population of 34 billion inhabitants, inexorably exhausting nature, their resources and their oxygen. Whilst the play yarn managed to evacuate 116 million inhabitants in 2007, the rest all perished. Like this planet, there are others they know about that have also collapsed or are currently in a similar critical state. Some with societies that have also developed and used atomic weapons. The play yarn live in peace today, on a planet similar in size to Earth. They are only 550 million inhabitants. They live surrounded by nature and use technology to travel towards other planets. They even grow fruits and vegetables that they generously take to other distant places. They are a society with a higher level of consciousness evolution, which learn from their past mistakes. Much like the mistakes we are currently making on Earth, Today our planet faces countless environmental problems, with rising ocean levels, climate change, environmental poisoning and pollution, water shortages, conflicts and disastrous wars. Our society is deteriorating. So what should we do? If we do nothing and proceed as usual, nature as a consequence of this will continue to exact its effects and the civilizations will inevitably decline painfully. Another outcome is possible however, it calls for a change in thinking and values that ultimately lead to a hard but logical choice. Intermittent birth control. If necessary, we will establish a form of benevolent martial law, where humanity agrees that the earth and all life, nature, the flora and fauna must be preserved. There's only one humane solution. And that is to make the hard choices and reduce the planetary birth rate through responsible contraception measures. The choice to live and thrive is ours. 
we must do what is necessary to solve this problem gradually, peacefully, and together. The play yarn suggests we establish a minimum age for marriage and maximum number of children per marriage, among other actions, so as to solve this problem successfully. More detailed information is provided in the links in the description below. By reducing our population to an acceptable level, the Earth will surely recover and hopefully once again become the paradise in which we and especially our children's children wish to live. Every human being can benefit from having a place to live and eat, as well as access to an education, health care and all that is necessary for a thriving dignified life. So what are we going to do? What will you do? Will we heed these recommendations? Think for yourself, analyze and fathom how these recommendations can be applied. We are all responsible for our life, whilst also acting as stewards for all life on Earth, nature, the flora and the fauna of this still most beautiful planet. Our Earth 